previously on The Dark. What kind of father doesn't even go looking for his own son? What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying it's time to go find Daniel. There's a lot of ground to cover today. It's not gonna be easy ground. Well, I think that we're in the clear. Who are you? Put your weapons down, now! The Dark doesn't want Daniel. What does he want? He wants you. You asked me earlier what I would do if my wife and daughter were still out there. I'd do anything. You need to get your son. Activate the field. You're old enough now to make a choice. A choice between what? Between nothing and everything. I've got one shot at this. The camera's screwing this up. He has a plan. I'm sure of it. That was your plan to trade Jennifer for guns. I please stop! Oh my where you going? Get off me! Stop! You're a feisty one! <laughs> I like that! Jer? You in here, buddy? Hello, Blake. You seem surprised to see me. You were expecting Mr. Loman, weren't you? You? Yes, I am. It's so nice to finally meet you. But how? That's not important now, is it? You have Jeremy. Where is he? I assure you your friend is... Well, he's around. I want him back. Leave him alone. Leave us alone! Mr. Loman has been a crucial part of our plan. But I'm afraid he has served his purpose. Would you like to see him now? Jeremy! Stack them, but I have to go opposite. Um, to make a real tower. Did you ever I, knock it over? Yeah, well, that was the best part. You knocked <laughs> it over. 
Oh, hey. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, this uh, this looks great, and it looks pretty good too. <laughs> All right, so mom is keeping Danny until Wednesday. You think we'll be moved in by then? Meeting the elders on Tuesday, so yeah, that gives us a week. What time should we be there tomorrow? I don't know. If we get on the road by 6 a.m., we should be there by, what, noon? What? Do you think this is the right move? Hmm? I mean, you, you kind of know the direction Trinity's going in. I know, but we've been there for so long. And maybe it's time for us to go, you know? Maybe it's a good thing for them and for us. I just, uh, it's tough, you know? The change, the move, Danny changing schools, leaving his friends. Danny's gonna be fine, okay? Yeah. Danny will be fine, and we're moving closer to your parents. <laughs> Mm. You're right. You're right. God let us here. He'll see us through. And we're going to be leading a room in church. <laughs> oh, wow. It's going to be great. Everything is going to be great. Okay. I fell asleep. Sorry. Hey, back here? No. Nothing. What time is it? I don't know. I've been asleep a couple hours, probably four or five. He's trying to stay warm. They should have been back by now. I mean, he didn't tell us anything or why he needed Jen. I'll be all right. Mikey, he'll take care of her. Yeah. Hey. How's, how's Jen doing? I'll take care you know, after gun town. I don't know. I mean. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. Fight, watch out! No, 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 no. <laughs> She's 24 years old, Peter. 24, and she has to live with this. I know. I know, Adrian, but that's the card she's been dealt, okay? None of us want to be here. But it can't be like this much longer, right? I mean, it has to be over soon. All I can think about is getting Daniel back. But you do still believe that, right? That he's coming back. Adrian, listen. All I know they're is... Back. They're back, they're back, they're back. Hey, hey. Oh, God. Where's John? Oh. No, I'm not gonna calm down. That was your plan to trade Jennifer for guns. Kinda. What were you thinking? Adrian, no. he he has a plan. I'm sure of it. You you do have a plan, right, Mike? Of course I have a plan. This better be good. Look, I know Carlos, okay? I've known the guy for years. I know how he does things. All right, they're gonna hold her there until it's time to load her up onto the wagon and take her to the auction. Auction! He's, he's gonna he's gonna sell her. Yeah, that's his plan. But before they load her up onto the wagon. She's not, she's not gonna make it onto the wagon. Listen, I don't on. like it. I... Hold on, hold on. So you're telling me that you're gonna go get her before they take her? Carlos always leaves early, okay? He gets to the auction before everybody else, so the girls stay behind with a couple of his goons. 
Look, I know these guys, okay? They're not exactly geniuses. So after Carlos leaves, I go in before they load her onto the wagon and I get her back. Great. So then we have someone else hunting us. Carlos, don't worry about him. He doesn't like to get his hands dirty. Besides, so we'll be long gone before he even realizes what happened. I don't like it. Mike, why didn't you just tell us what you're gonna do? Would you have let me? <laughs> Would you? Okay, look, relax. I've got this. It's foolproof. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're up. Walter, he's up. <laughs> Sorry, where are our manners? I'm Mrs. Lane, but everyone calls me B. And this is my husband, Walter. Well, say hello, Walter. Hey, hello. Hello. And you are? Um, Blake. I'm Blake. Well, it's nice to officially meet you, Blake. Oh, you must be starving. Please have a seat. Let me get you something to eat. How's your head? You got some boo-boos there, didn't you? Well, we took care of those. <laughs> and I finally got your clothes clean. That was a job, let me tell you. Must have been ketchup all over you. That would have been a piece of cake with my old washing machine, but by hand, whew, that was a tougher story. But we got the job done, didn't we, Walter? Sure did, Mama. One of the last chickens. I had it on the fire in the back. A young man, uh, what in tarnation were you doing all the way out there? Out there? Yeah, you were a mile and a half from the old campground. Nobody ever out this far. No, we don't get any visitors out here. Oh, where are my manners? I'll get you something to drink. I was, uh, I was looking for a friend. Oh? Your friend? Uh, did you find him? No. No, I didn't. Oh, dear. Well, he's out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. You'll run across him again. Mm -hmm. You know, once I lost my grandmother's brooch, remember that, Walter? Mm -hmm. I looked everywhere for it. No luck. Finally, I gave up. I stopped looking. And wouldn't you know it, the minute I stopped looking, there it was. Yeah, there it was. So maybe you should just stop looking, stop searching. Maybe then you might find what you're looking for. Ooh, I just love having company again. <laughs> you're welcome to stay here as long as yeah. you like. If you don't mind me asking, what are you two doing out here all by yourselves? Well. We're watching all the children while Eddie and Mitch and the others are away. Mitch, Eddie, our sons. Such good boys. Yep, they got picked. Chosen. 
chosen. For greatness. Children. What children? Why, all of them. And we love them just like they're our own. Oh, <laughs> my manners again. How would you like to have some nice, fresh blueberries straight out of our garden? Hi, Brian. Mike. Yeah. Don't you owe me money? Look, we'll make this simple, OK? Uh, the girl that I brought earlier, where is yeah, she? Yeah, I think it was like 130 bucks. I'm good for it, OK? Where's the girl? What girl? I know it comes natural to you, but don't play stupid right now, OK? Tell me where she is. I can't. I think you can, Brian. Tell me where she is and you don't have to get hurt. No, I mean, I can't. She's not here. Carlos liked her, so he took her to the auction himself. Where's Jen? Plan wasn't as foolproof as I thought. You're no kidding. We have to hurry. Danny? Mom? Hi, hi, baby. Oh, hello, my baby. Oh, I have missed you so much. I missed you too, Mom. What are you doing here? I thought you were... I'm right here, Danny. Everything is right here. Right here for you. Everything you can imagine, everything you can want, we can be together again. Is this heaven? What do you think it is, Danny? It must be heaven, because everyone said you were dead, and Daddy said when we die, we go up to heaven. So if you're here, I must be in heaven too. I can't explain it all to you. But I can tell you, this isn't heaven. You're not dead. All of this is real. And heaven isn't real, honey. What do you mean heaven isn't real? I know this now. It isn't real. But the things that are real aren't bad. Right here, right now. Do you think this is bad? Look around you, honey. But Daddy said... Daddy told you what he thought was real. But baby, I know. I know what's real and what's true. Don't you want what's real? Oh, well, you, Mommy, I want to be with you. And I want that too. And now we can. You just have to make that decision. What about Daddy? Daddy can make that choice too. He'll be here soon. And if he does make the choice, we can all be together again. That's what you want, isn't it? For us to be a family again. More than anything. Good. Then let's go. It's time. They just missed them, sir. But Mitch made sure that Lucian and her people will not fail us again. It doesn't matter, Edward. The claws. It's time to prepare for the party. Stop! What are we doing? 
moving. We don't have time for this, all right? We have to keep moving. Mike, just tell us where we're, we're going. We're almost there. It's a couple more miles, but we can't stop. Then go where? Tell us what's happening. Okay. Short version, I was wrong, okay? I thought Carlos was gonna treat Jen just like all his other girls, but apparently he took some kind of special liking to her and he took her with him to the auction. And he's got a big head start ahead of us, so we have to hurry or, or it's gonna be too late. But go where? Too, too late for what? These guys, okay, they don't just buy these girls to clean their houses and cook their meals, if you know what I mean. I cannot believe you sent her in there, how could you? I'm sorry, okay? I messed up. Now I'm trying to fix it no, now. That's not enough. Hey, stop. Stop. Mike, what do we do now? All right, look, the way I see it is if Carlos likes her that much, then he's gonna save her for last. That buys us a little bit of time depending on how many girls are there. So we just have to get there before he gets her on stage. A stage? Are you going to repeat? Every single thing that I say, yes, he's gonna put her on stage. Yes, they're gonna sell her to the highest bidder. Yes, this world sucks right now, okay? I tried to warn you before we left, okay? It's filled with horrible people doing horrible things. I didn't make it this way, Adrian. I'm just trying to live in it, survive in it, and I'm trying to keep you all alive in it, okay? So if you would please stop judging me for just a little bit, maybe we could get to her and save her life. But uh, uh, he's much older than the others. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just put him in with the other children. Hmm. You think they'll take to him? Well, they took to Robert right away. Hmm. I, I guess you're right, Mama. He seems like a nice boy. Come on, we need to check on them anyway. coming to stay with us. Yes, and you're going to love him. His name is Blake, and he just loves to play. Doesn't he love to play? And yes, he just loves to play, and, and he's going to want to play with each and every one of you. Well, first you have to eat your supper and then get some sleep. Now, I know you're excited to have a new friend, but you've got to do that. All right now, children, you sleep well. Anybody here? Hello? Oh, good. You met the children. 
We know you'll get along just famously and be the best of friends. <laughs> Hey, wake up. Hey, somebody, somebody help us. Hey. They can't hear you. Who are you? Alexis. I don't remember my last name. I've had a bunch over the years. Where are we? How did I get here? Ravencross, little town at the foot of the mountain. Horrible place if you ask me. As to how you got here, well, I mean, I can't say for sure, but if I had to guess, they came in, tied a rag around your mouth, and that's all you remember, right? Yeah. Oh. It's my fourth time here. Second time here, fourth time in the auction. Auction? Yeah. Auction, meat market, whatever. They're all the same. What are you talking about? You, you really don't know. It's simple, honey, we're currency. They come in, take us, sell us to the highest bidder, and go on their way. By the looks of you, you're one of Carlos's girls. Wait, the gun guy? I... Mike did this. I see. Boyfriend needed to eat, so he traded you. Sound about right? No. No, I don't understand. Don't we try just... and understand. Nothing makes sense anymore. What's going to happen to us? Well, pretty soon they're gonna come in and take us one at a time, and then we just disappear. Disappear? Pretty much. Except for me. I keep getting sold at the auction. Well, I don't make things easy around here, if you know what I mean. Well, well we have to do something. How do, how do we get out of here? I mean... <laughs> There's only two ways out of here. In the back of a wagon with some sicko or... Or what? Or in a box? Looks like Remus is here. Becker, Parch, Staley, all of them. Is there a low life in this world you don't know? Probably not. So what's your plan? Something messy. Why don't we just wait until they bring him out on the stage and then we'll help Peter bit out? This isn't a game, Adrian. We know Carlos is keeping Jen in one of these buildings and knowing him and the way he operates, he probably didn't bother to leave a guard, so you guys look for Jen. And I'm gonna make a distraction. Just you guys quickly find Jen and you get out. As soon as Carlos realizes what's going on, he's gonna come for you and he's gonna shoot to kill. So you find Jen and you get out. What about you? Don't worry about me. And don't you dare come back for me. I'll catch up. Listen, Peter. When you get Jen, head to the old train line. All right, the tracks are mostly gone, but follow it straight for about 15, 16 miles. And then the tracks will come back. Stay on it. That's gonna take you straight to that old factory I told you about. That's where you're going, Pete. That's where they're keeping Daniel. Okay. Move fast. Adrian. Yeah. Tell Jen that I... Just tell Jen I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, wait till you get a look at what I have next for you. She's beautiful. She's innocent looking. Get your money together, because I guarantee you she will not go cheap. <laughs> you may just have to dig deep into my pockets then. Mikey, two days in a row? Tell me you're not here to bring the merchandise back, because, uh, hey, brother, a deal's a deal. A deal is a deal, Carlos. You're right. It was a good deal, too. In fact, I feel like I kind of took advantage of you. 
I, I think I got the better end of the deal, so I'm bringing some of it back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, Mikey? Call it my penance, Carlos. Call them off. I mean it, Carlos. I've got a pretty good idea where I'm going, do you? Okay, all right, everybody, everybody just calm down. Everybody just settle down, put them down. Put them down! Right now. There is no way we can get all these girls out of here. Nobody's going nowhere. Go get out. Oh, Alexis, you have to come with us. I okay, can't. we can get you out of here. I can't. We we have to leave now. No, we're not leaving them, okay? We can't just leave them here. John, there's there's no way we can carry them all. They're not gonna wake up. Not for a while. What about you? You come with us. I can't. You can't. I can't. Hey, hey, stop. We have to go. We have to go now. No, you have to go now. There are more coming. Jen, we gotta go now. No, I'm not leaving her, okay? We just... Jen, stop. <laughs> Listen to me. If we do not leave now, we're not gonna be able to leave, okay? Let's go. Please. Oh, Jen, now. Let's go. Now. I don't think they saw us leave. What about Mike? Where's Mike? He'll catch up to us. He has a plan. A plan? What are you talking about? He's going to trade Jen for guns. He had a plan and it didn't work, okay? He should have told us about it. He should have at least told her about it. He did. What? what? Mike told me what he was going to do. You knew what he was going to do when you let him. Well, we had to do something. You were going to be sold, Jen. I know. All right, I know. I can't believe you went along. I didn't even know he was gonna get you back. Because he gave me this. Who's that? It's Renee. It's Mike's wife or ex-wife, whatever. He wouldn't leave without it. It's the last thing he has of her. You know this? This is how I knew he'd come back for me. That's how I know Mike will find us. So let me get this right. You thought you could swindle me? What, trade the girl for the guns and come back and save her or something? Something like that, yeah. Look around, Mike. How's that working out for you? You tell me, Carlos. I'm the one holding the grenade. So what's your end game here? You know better than anybody. I always win. Always. That's the good thing about being me. Carla, she's gone. Your girl's gone. All good things come to an end. Let's keep moving.
Come in. Everything is prepared, sir. Excellent. Oh, there's one more change to the guest list. There will only be four of them joining us, not five. Um, but the invitation... It's gonna be fine. Just make the arrangements. I'll take care of it, sir. And they all lived happily ever after. Just like us children. Happily ever after. Oh, don't be afraid of a little rain. Remember, Grandpa Walter told you that after every rain, there's a rainbow. I'm sorry. I, uh, hate to interrupt the crazy, but what is the matter with you people? Oh, please keep your voice down. Jacob and Liza are already asleep. Asleep? These kids are dead! What did you do to them? What's going on here? And now, son, we take our responsibilities to these children very seriously. Now, when Mrs. Lane tells you to lower your voice so the children can sleep, you best do as she asks. Please. Please. You, you've got to let me go. Look, 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 I've got to get home. My parents will be very, very worried about me if I'm not back in time for supper. Oh dear, I never thought about that. Walter, maybe we should phone his parents and let them know he'll be sleeping over. But, uh, uh, my mama, uh, we haven't had a phone in years. Oh, it'll be fine. No. No, no, it will not be fine. Look, I've got to get home. I've got ch chores to do and everything. Well, I'm sure when your parents see how well we've taken care of them, they won't mind you staying with us for a while. Who are you people? What's happening here? Oh, silly. We already told you we're Mitch and Eddie's parents. The good boys. Both of them. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> All right, children. Time for bed. Now, I know it's been very exciting tonight, but we all have to get some sleep. Now, y'all heard Mrs. Lane. Y'all go to sleep now. Now, I don't want to hear any whining. Bedtime is bedtime. We'll be back in the morning. And then we're going to have some real fun. No. No, please. Help! No. Help! Help me! Please! Somebody! Next time on The Dark. I know we're trying to find Danny, but don't forget about the people that came with you. I've done everything I could to protect you guys. What do you see? Peter Braxton, you're cordially invited to a private dinner party. Do you want to look nice for your dad? Daddy's coming? Of course. Did I not promise you that? Peter, no. No, you're not going to go. You're staying here. I can't lose anybody else. We're not going to wait. We're going to go help him. Let's crash this party. I hid from something I can't hide from, and now I'm trying to fight something I can't beat. He's afraid, as he should be. Your invitation? Daddy! Mr. Braxton. You. In the flesh. Adrian, Jen, what are you doing here? It wouldn't be a party if it was just you and I now, Peter. Danny, son, come here! Uh, 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 uh. God's country, isn't it grand? Pastor Braxton, get on your knees. I will never! Kneel before you!